Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Day. And today in this video, I'll be flashing MIUI 8 ROM on my Lenovo K3 Note. It's based on Android Lollipop, but it's having that MIUI 8 functionality. So let's get started. First of all, you have to download the MIUI 8 zip file from the below description link. Go to that website and log in there and download that file. As you can see, I have downloaded the MIUI zip file and I put it in my phone's internal storage. You should have TWRP recovery installed. I have already made a video on that, that how you can flash TWRP recovery on Lenovo K3 Note very easily. So check that video. And now what you have to do, you have to power off your device. So my device is now switched off. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna open the TWRP recovery. What you have to do first, you have to press the volume up, volume down and the power key together. Hold it for a for at least 10 seconds or 5 seconds and it will when it will vibrate just release the power key and you will get the TWRP recovery so we are now in the TWRP recovery and here you have to follow some steps like you have to first wipe your device for that go to wipe section go to advanced wipe and here select Dolby cache cache and data and swipe to wipe So as you can see it is successful I have successfully wiped the device and let's get back and now you have to go to that install section and here it is the internal storage you have to scroll down for the zip file and here is the MIUI 8 zip file as you can see MIUI 8 version 6.7 zip you have to tap on that and swipe to flash that zip file it's very easy and simple and as you can see it has started flashing the ROM so you have to be patient for this it may take a couple of minutes maybe 5 minutes maybe 10 minutes it's depending on the ROM size so I'm skipping this video or fast forwarding this video to save your time and guys as you can see the loading bar is in now blue color that means it's about to complete that flashing process and as you can see the flashing process is successful here is the successful return now what you have to do you have to wipe cache and always cache for safety always do that whenever you flash a zip file okay, go back and now reboot tap on that reboot system that's it and now it will boot up for the first time it will take a uh, few minutes maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes so be patient you have to be patient for this so as you can see the MI logo boots up and I'm gonna skip this video to save your time and after a long time about uh, 10 minutes uh, it's booting up I was thinking that it's bricked so it's not bricked and you have to be patient as I'm patient here if it is uh, taking about 30 minutes or something like that then means that means it is bricked or something like that then you have to flash it again there are very few languages but English is present here so no issues and also Wi-Fi is working let me set up and show you what's inside it let's skip this video so there are some themes so I'm keeping it as default so finally we have flashed MIUI 8 on the K3 node and initially the look is really awesome and it's very much very very fluid as you can see it's very very fluid and responsive 
and also the icons are different from MIUI 7 it's a lot cleaner also there are no single bloatware present here which is a great thing so as you can see it's really responsive and the notification drawer has changed it's indifferent like Samsung's touch whiz and super issue is installed that means you have root access pre-installed there are many apps installed from MI, MI UI like compass app and guys it is working fine also FM radio is working as you can see the FM radio is here that means you can hear FM radio and guys uh, we all know that MIUI is very much customizable so customization is not an issue it's far from a strong Android so you should aware of that there is no home app drawer or something like that but uh, all the icons will be in the screen but it's looking good you have that MI store and from there you can download themes you can download wallpapers there are lots of thousands of wallpapers and themes so customization is not an issue I'll be checking this room for a couple of days and I'll be coming for a full review of this room where I tell you the pros and cons and share what's working what are the bugs what are it is advantages what are the advantages how how will be the battery backup so I'm gonna share all those aspects in the later videos for that stay tuned by subscribing my channel thank you guys for watching you guys always have a great day